to just a few more things and other references to this story. Uh, verse number eight, the Bible says, Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. Now, I wasn't even have this in my notes, but it's important to note this. The way that you live your life and walk and your attitude and your heart being in it, you're either going to be a great encouragement and edify and strengthen other people, or you're going to bring them down and make them fear because fear is contagious, but so is confidence. Fear, but fear is even more contagious. Fear is, is, is worse. You're a little leaven, leaven at the whole lump. You get a little sin involved and stuff, and all of a sudden you, you've got a big problem. You add a little bit of fear. You know, these people, they came in with this bad attitude and this evil report. No, God's not going to be able to save us. God's not going to be able to protect us. Watch your own attitude because that will spread to other people. It's so important to have our hearts right with God and just and, and full on having faith that he could protect us and not doubt and not waver. There will be hard times in your life and choices that you have to make. People go through it all the time. People in our church have already been going through this. And honestly, this is what defines your life are the hard choices that you make. What you choose to do and how you choose to live defines your entire life and your being and your essence being here on this earth. You choosing to follow the Lord, let that define you. Don't back out. Don't back down. Don't let f whoever, family, friends, anyone, you know, people, because it's, the random stranger you're probably not going to care about. It's going to be the attacks coming from people close to you that are going to be the biggest, that could be the biggest foes. And the strongest adversary are the ones that, that you might be close with. But we all have to decide for ourselves where, where does your loyalty ultimately lie? And I'm not saying we shouldn't be loyal to family, but, I'm, but I am saying we ought to be more loyal to God than to anybody, than to any human being. God deserves that more than anyone. Maintain the loyalty to him first. If there's no reason to have problems with your family, then great, stick with your family. You know, be good to them and, do, and, and have a close family as you ought to. But don't let other people corrupt or bring you down from serving the Lord so that you can say whatsoever the Lord commanded that's what I'm doing people will see when you start uh, and I'll speak perfectly from it by example I'd visited many churches after I'd gotten saved and you know, I'm not going to make an excuse for not getting plugged into church as I should have. It's my responsibility it was, and, and I should have done it. But when I finally got involved in a church where I can see somebody serving the Lord and not only preaching what the Bible says, but actually living and following and leading by example and doing the things that you could see in Scripture, that was really encouraging. That really got me motivated. That got me stirred up. That got me right with God. And that got me doing way more. Why? Because I was able to see the confidence, the attitude. God's with us. Who could be against us? Let's go and do this work. It's exciting. But then you go into to, you know, all these other churches and they're scared of their own shadow. Oh, out of the government's going to do this. The sodomites are going to do this. We're going to have people come after us. You know, and it's fearful. Or they're just not teaching anything. But when you have somebody that's willing to just dedicate their life, saying, no, we're doing this, that'll rub off on people. It'll keep you right, and you'll be, without even realizing it sometimes, you'll be helping many other people. Just showing up and attending church on a regular basis is helpful.
even, I mean, that, and that's a very small thing. But it's something that you just determine and say, this is important to me. I'm going to make sure I'm there. And, and many people, I think, will never realize, even for pastors, the importance of just, of just people showing up and being in church. That is edifying. That is helpful. That strengthens us to keep going and to keep pushing and doing more. 